What's up? What's good? What's popping? It's your girl, Miss 3D Live, Miss Tasha. Tasha Mack, Tasha Cobbs on a good day, not Tasha K. What's up with y'all? Back with another video. I just want to say before I start this video, thank you. Th thank you. Y'all just showed up and showed out. Trying not to cuss in the beginning of it. Listen, I appreciate y'all so much. Like, y'all don't understand. Y'all, y'all is messing with your girl. And I'm okay with that. Like, huh, thank you. Thank you. Listen, we still, we still doing the giveaway. Still doing the $50 giveaway. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, you want to get in? Get on in and, and subscribe. You got to subscribe. And as I always say, you ain't got to hit the bell, but just hit the sub subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand, y'all. Help me out. Help, help me get to a thousand, y'all. Share and share it like. Okay, so this video today is going to be like a little brief little recap of the video that I done about the reaction video I done about Miss D. So um at the end of the video I told y'all or at the beginning of the video I told y'all that I was in this world. Like I'm not gonna say that I know Miss Diana personally because I don't but I have been in some of the same rooms, areas, dance competitions that as of her. So uh yeah and you know, yes, it's the dance world is crazy, man. So I just wanted to kind of just give my little extra little feedback on it because it is some rumors going around that Cameron may have been going through some hazing. And, you know, it's, again, Southern got whatever they got, however they feel about Miss D, and, and they doing what they doing. So... I just kind of wanted to touch on just a little bit on that. And then I was going to just kind of prelude y'all, give y'all just a little information about me and me and dance. And then in some other videos, we I'm going to, you know, give you the good, the bad, the ugly. And I'm going to have a partner in crime in them videos, but I'm going to explain that more later. So just about the Miss D situation and Cameron and stuff like you know, I was thinking, I was sitting back thinking, I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? I know they be, they definitely got to be having, like, doing something to her because I noticed that she hadn't been posting a lot. You know what I'm saying? And she had, she did start posting, like, little videos of her dancing, you know, doing little solo dances. You know how everybody dropped a little video on, uh, um, uh, YouTube and stuff like Kayla and Sonya. Baby, when I tell y'all love me some Kayla, that's going to be another video. Tell I love me some Kayla and Sonya too. I love, I love them too. So, but I was like, you know, I hadn't seen her, you know, really like posting nothing or whatever. And so it got me to thinking like, you know, I don't know if y'all remember about the cheerleader that, you know, you know, I can't say it on here, but you know, and I was like, and that happened in Southern. And I was like, you know, the baby was depressed. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just looking at Cameron sometimes in the stands, she didn't really look too happy. She really didn't look like she was having fun. And so I was like, well, dang, you know, what's wrong with the baby and stuff? And so, again, this has got my wheels to turning and stuff. And just like, I was thinking like, man, that's like crazy how... She been having to go through that and like she not even going to dance her last year. You know what I'm saying? So it was something going on. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's something going on at Southern. And Southern, Southern, I don't know what y'all got going on, but y'all need to get it together. Because ain't nobody finna be sending their babies to y'all and this is what's going to be happening. The, the hazing and whatever y'all be doing. That, that That's just too much. And she probably did get it worse because she's a dancer doll. And they felt like, girl, we don't do that type of stuff that y'all be doing, you know, type of thing. Because everybody try to separate it. They be like, oh, HBCU is different from, from Majorette. No, it's not. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I promise you it's the same thing. 
the majorette competitions may be a little different because they allow certain things, but no, it's the same thing. So don't, I hate when people try to, you know, categorize it. It's all the same thing, ma'am. It's the same thing. We all majorettes, okay? We all dance in a group and have to dance in sequence. We have to dance alike. So we all, we have to look as one, one band, one sound, the same thing with dance, you, you know? So I hate when people do that, but anywho. I got a little out, but it is just, you know, it, it was just, it was just kind of, I thought about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, dang, I, I know she probably did go through some stuff or whatever. And, and shout out to Cameron. Cause baby, I listen, I, we, we, we love you. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, you know what I'm saying? We, we just want to, you know, that's just something that just kind of just did sit well with me. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't sit well with me after I thought about it. And I, you know, even looked at some of the comments under the video that I did. It was just like, you know what I'm saying? And I just she was she was backpedaling though she was backpedaling because she didn't have to bring that up and so you know but anyhow so that was just my little recap with that my little extra little nugget that I felt like I wanted to put on there but so y'all so I'm gonna give y'all the real like quick background of how my team got started okay so my team Prince and Dominic Elite. So, I started in 2016, March of 2016, and unfortunately, how I started was not, um, it was in a good situation. What happened was I lost my best friend of 19 years, and um, she passed suddenly, and for like, she passed in October of 2015, so I was like literally depressed, y'all, was like out my mind, didn't get up, do nothing for like months, and so in March, I started getting up and starting to try to just like get myself back together, right, so my homegirl came over, so like I was saying, my homegirl came over or whatever, and uh, I was watching her baby or whatever. I do child care and stuff or whatever. Your girl is a check all trades, period. So she was like, we was watching TV or something. I think it was on some. It was on Lifetime. It had to be. And so um, she was like, girl, girl, you, you remind me of this woman right here. And I was like, what are you talking about? And so when I walked over there, I had seen Miss D on there, and Miss D was... She was clicking on one of them parents. She was saying something to somebody and telling them, like, this is my team. You knew what I said. She was getting the girls ready and stuff. And even she was arguing. I was like, okay. So, you know, I started watching it. I was like, okay, okay. You know, and really didn't even think nothing at that time or whatever. So, my son was playing football at the time. And it was a whole lot of little girls running around and stuff like that. And, of course, my with my best friend passing, she had two uh, young daughters. And they was like, you know, in between tw tw uh, 10 and 12. And so, I was like, man, I, I, you know, I want to do something. You know, for the girls, because once uh, they get to a certain age and like little league stuff, you know, to 12, the 12 to 13, the 12 to 18, 19 year olds don't have nothing to do. They don't have nothing to do. And people wonder why they just doing what the hell they want to do, because they ain't got nothing to do. Like, come on, we got to give them something to do. So I was like, OK. You know, let me, let me, you know, the spirit led me. And I really feel like it was my best friend, God rest her soul. The spirit led me. So the next day, probably like a couple of days later, I ended up getting my EIN number. I ended up getting um, my stuff with the state. I ended up uh, making sure, you know, of course, I picked the name and did all of that stuff. I printed out uh, tryouts. I picked the date to do tryouts and stuff. I picked out tryouts and all of that. I make a long story short, Prince and Dominic's was born. You know what I'm saying? So it was born and these are some of the first coaches that was there. It's the first set of girls we won. Um, we've been in 68 competitions. We've won um, 64 trophies. We have won one grand champion. And um, yeah, so I feel like, you know, I feel like I got a little place in the world. You know what I'm saying? I can say a little something. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, we did a uh, competition. We did Kayla's first competition uh, when she was, when the first competition she did when she left uh, Dancing Dolls, you know, when she started, when she started kind of disconnecting herself. I ain't gonna say left, but just kind of dis disconnecting herself and trying to make her own lane. It was right before she made her team up. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, we competed and stuff and we won. You know what I'm saying? A little clip right here. I don't know. A little clip right here. We won. I don't know. We caught up. And so, yeah. So, it's, it's, ever since then, it's been like, you know, ups and downs, of course. Yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly. That's what y'all gonna get. And we've been rocking and rolling for six years. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we've lost some people. We've had a few teams that's been made up from our teams. You know, we'll talk about that, you know. Okay. But you know, yeah, it's been a it's been a, 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 a uh it's been a wonderful journey in the sense of I met some amazing people, but I've also met some judgmental ass people, like some people like girl girl, yo shit stink too. Like don't it's not roses in her man. I'm gonna need you to get yourself the girl. Girl quit. Like they be killing me, but y'all Listen, we're going to get into that, though. I just wanted to just kind of give y'all the spiel. And, of course, uh, I do, you know, we like the first team to come out of our city in North Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, some people will digress from that, but I just want to let it be known. I've been officially in North Little Rock since day one. You know what I'm saying? And the last day. We always uh, practice out of Sherman Park Rec Center. Shout out to Sherman Park Rec Center, to Miss Renee, to Chris. We love you guys. We thank you guys so much for supporting us and always being down with us and being so loyal to us and we appreciate and love y'all so yeah you know i've been in this game for a while again like i said we made some good friends i made some great networking friends and also it's been some i've had i got some enemies this is just gonna keep it 100 on here you know i give you i give you both spectrums i don't i don't i don't i don't just give you the good side or just give you the bad i give you both so we yeah it's probably some people out there that just can't stand you girl just can't they they don't like me but it's okay you know what i'm saying they can get in line because i'm pretty sure it's a lot of people you know but it's okay though i'm okay with it everybody ain't gonna like everybody you know so but you know as far as this new uh youtube journey like i'm so i am so oh i don't want to because so freaking like y'all i just gotta thank y'all again i just really gotta thank y'all again so y'all know my birthday coming up right so my birthday is coming up but i got my little photo shoot tomorrow so i'm gonna give y'all a little vlog it's gonna be a little short vlog it ain't gonna be nothing expensive expensive or nothing because y'all know i'm beginning and i don't really know i know what i'm doing but i don't really know what i'm doing so i'm just kind of you know y'all just tell me what y'all like but i the dance segment of of this channel is going to be called you know the the majorette dance world and we're gonna come back it's like i said earlier in the video we're gonna come back i got a special guest yeah and yeah so she gonna come with the tea because this person been there since day one with me damn near you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna say day day one but they damn near day one and so yeah so we're gonna get into the tea we're gonna get into the good the bad and the ugly of major red dance world y'all really want to stay tuned to that because it's yeah i'm telling you it's the tea it is the tea but i just wanted to come today I'm really mostly like thank y'all and put my little extra little nugget on what's going on with Miss, you know, with the Miss D and Southern situation and, you know, how they've been kind of treating Cameron and stuff like that. So, but um, I hope y'all have a good one. Y'all already know what I'm finna say. Y'all already know how this go. Like, comment, and subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. I, like I tell y'all all the time, you ain't got to hit the damn bell. You ain't got to hit the damn bell. Just subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand, okay? I love y'all for watching. Thank y'all so much. Again, it's your girl, Miss 3D Live. Miss Tasha. Coach Tasha. Tasha Cobbs. Tasha Mack. Tasha Cobbs on a good day. I'm messing up. <laughs> Not Tasha K. What's up, Tasha K, girl? What's up? Shout me out. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Again, thank y'all so much for watching the videos. Y'all let me know what y'all want to want me to react to. I got a really funny video coming up for y'all, so I hope y'all like it and watch it. It's going to be crazy. So, again, thank y'all so much for watching. Again, peace out.